Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Porto taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, I hope you are as excited as me to start the Champions League. Always a special atmosphere. Both teams will be hoping for a long journey, or it may be very, very short. We're about to find out. the starting 11 for Porto it looks pretty orthodoxly yeah I love this formation 4-4-2 the two main strikers will stay close together the full backs will link up with the wide players the two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre backs very solid look about this team And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Kepa stands between the posts. Thiago Silva plays with Kurt Zuma in central defence. Kai Havertz plays with Christian Pulisic out wide. And leading the line today is Timo Werner. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. Pepe, Luis Diaz, and Uribe, Felipe Anderson, and in with a real chance, well they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper, that was inspirational, well that's as good as a goal at the other end, brilliant save from the keeper, well a nearly moment you've got to say, Felipe Anderson certainly can be a hard man to handle if you're tasked with keeping him quiet. Lee, what do you think he might deliver in this match? Well, his ability on the ball is second to none. Just watch how close he keeps the ball to his feet. He lures defenders in. Then quick turn of pace and he's away from you. Brilliant player. Chances on. Not all that convincing defensively. And I think the threat has been averted. Mount on to Werner Kai Havertz Conte has it Pulisic opportunity it is high class defending right on the goal line Matteo Suribe Paremi On the offensive. Are they going to forge ahead? Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Porto have given it away. Uribe. And that was a very fine read. Uribe. Taremi.
Marega. Marega. Can he put it in? As Billy Quetta with the block. And the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to forge ahead. A clear penalty and a yellow card to boot. Well, the referee's watch delivered the message to him. A good goal, and thank goodness for technology, Lee. Well, yeah, my watch says 20 past eight, but I'll believe his watch. And at first thought, I didn't think he was over the line, but there we can clearly see. Well, only just, though. So Chelsea restart the game. Can they come up with an answer? Mount, Marcos Alonso, Thiago Silva, Conte, a meaty but fair challenge and it will be a throw-in, N'Golo Conte, on to Werner, Werner, and the cross is very much on, Conte. Tremendous block. They've got it now. What can they do? Perfectly positioned to take it away. Werner. Here's Mount. Well timed tackle. Porto, as we can see, haven't seen the ball too much, but to their credit, they've been absolutely blistering on the counter-attack. Might be a chance here. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one-versus-one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. N'Golo Conte. On to Werner. Could be a chance to break here. And Pulisic has it. Well, body in the way. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Big chance to get them on terms. Can he finish? And oh, he's missed it. Good heavens. Well, what a chance for an equaliser, Derek. At this level, you don't get many chances. And that was one of them. Karemi. Now Felipe Anderson. Mehdi Karemi. And the referee spotted the foul but has played advantage. And there to intervene. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Marega. Marega! Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal, and now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, here it is again, and I wonder how he waltzes past the defender so easily, and then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. So 2-0 now. What can Chelsea do from this position? Werner. Paremi. 
The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Free kick to Chelsea. Werner. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Let's have a look at that again. All defenders look away. Nobody likes to see this. It's poor, you have to say, but it's important now that he puts his head back on and starts to concentrate on the rest of the game. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Kurt Zuma. Werner. And they just let his opponent glide by. Patient build up at the moment. Werner. He's in here. And he struck the post. But he did his job defensively. It was a nearly moment as it came back off the woodwork. But the goalkeeper has it now. Massive relief from the goalkeeper. He stood and watched and then it ended up in his hands. Wilson Manafa. Well, Derek, I thought that was all level, but can't get any closer than that. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Fractionally wide, good strike. Thiago Silva. Conte. Here's Mount. And Golo Conte. Uribe. The ball with Jesus Corona. Felipe Anderson. Marega. In with a chance. Oh, it looked as though he might be through. Not so. Getting in there to take it away. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. He's going forward well here. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Kai Havertz. On to Werner. Mount. Felipe Anderson. And a useful cross. Well, no problems defensively. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. And Golo Conte. Havertz. Werner. And just slightly offside. Marega. Porto have given it away. The tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And the referee has determined that that is a bookable offence. I don't think you can think anything else after that challenge. And nicely struck. Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. Corner given to Chelsea. Now, what can they do with it? 
Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. And an effective clearance. A super tackle, and they've won possession. Well, I thought they were back in it. I thought they were back in the game, to be honest with you. Derek, how close can you get? Felipe Anderson. Arega. Mount. And snuffing out the danger. Mehdi Tarami. And Uribe. Conte has it. Kai Havertz. Timo Werner. Mount. Pulisic now. Arega. Mount attempting to play catch up in this second half. Lee, what ought the priorities to be? Well, Chelsea will feel that because the game is so close, there's another goal out there. They need to pile on the pressure, more balls in the box, more intensity, force the issue. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. Oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up. Arega. Musa Marega has it. On and on he goes. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. And a goal here! Accuracy with the header. Just what they needed. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging for someone to get on the end of it. And what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the goalkeeper absolutely no chance. Fantastic goal. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. And five minutes to go. Werner. Here's Mount. Werner. Can he get one back? Absolutely courageous goalkeeping, but he's got the ball. Well, you have to be brave, don't you? Diving at the feet of a player like that. Good goalkeeping. Wilson Manafa. Jesus Corona. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Porto have given us away. And winning it back. Jesus Corona. The end of this particular story. And for whatever reason, it didn't go as a plan for Chelsea. It's a poor start to their Champions League season. It's not a disaster, it's only game one. You can't afford any more slip-ups. That result will eat away at the players until game two comes along. In the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, a really good performance from the lad today. He was pretty much involved in everything, and he never really looked like missing his penalty, did he?